Today we will talk about Streptococcus species. Remember Streptococcus are gram positive cocci and they have a typical chain cluster like arrangement. So you can see the chain like arrangement of Streptococcus species. Remember Staphylococcus species had grape like cluster arrangement whereas Streptococcus have chain like arrangement. Additionally Streptococcus does not produce catalase enzyme. It is catalase negative. In contrast, Staphylococcal species produce catalase enzyme and those were catalase positive. But remember, Streptococcus are catalase negative. Now, we will further categorize Streptococcal species on the basis of their ability to break down red blood cells. So, the first category of Streptococcal species is beta hemolytic. What are beta hemolytic Streptococcal species? Beta hemolysis means their ability to break completely break down the red blood cell. Okay, so beta hemolysis mean complete breakdown of red blood cell and there are two categories of streptococcal species further in the beta hemolytic one is the group a beta hemolytic which is streptococcus pyogenes and the second one is group b beta hemolytic the group b beta hemolytic includes streptococcus agalactica now we also need to differentiate the two of them and this is by means of bicitrosin sensitivity Remember group A beta hemolytic streptococcus. Streptococcus pyogen is bicitrosin sensitive. If you add bicitrosin medium to the group A beta hemolytic colonies, it will be destroyed. But streptococcus agalactica will be resistant. So that is bicitrosin resistant. Group B is bicitrosin resistant, whereas group A is bicitrosin sensitive. Now we will discuss the alpha hemolytic bacteria, which is another category of streptococcal species. Alpha hemolysis mean partial breakdown of the red blood cell okay beta was complete breakdown alpha hemolysis mean partial breakdown of red blood cell now the organism in the alpha hemolytic category include streptococcus pneumonia and streptococcus viridans streptococcus pneumonia and viridans should be further differentiated on the basis of optochin sensitivity and bile solubility so whereas streptococcus viridans is optochin resistant and it is not bile soluble so if you add optochin, optochin medium to the streptococcus pneumonia colonies they will be destroyed so those are optochin sensitive additionally streptococcus pneumonia will be dissolved in a bile soluble whereas streptococcus viridan is just the opposite finally we will discuss the mixed category of the streptococcal species means they are either alpha beta hemolytic alpha hemolytic beta hemolytic or they show no hemolysis so this include two categories one is the Antrococcus fecalis and second is the Antrococcus bovis now how do we differentiate between two of them this is on the basis of their ability of growth in the sodium chloride medium 6.5 percent sodium chloride medium would would not affect the growth of Antrococcus fecalis so Antrococcus fecalis will keep growing in a 6.5 percent sodium chloride medium whereas Antrococcus bovis will not grow in such a concentration medium so this is how you differentiate two of them now we will discuss the pathogenesis means the mechanism by which they cause disease so the first organism is streptococcus pyogene which is group a beta hemolytic streptococcus and uh, since it is pyogenes so it it causes pyogenic infection pyogenic mean pus producing so it can cause local infection what are the local infection the local infection at the level of skin include impitigo cellulitis these are local skin inflammation reaction caused by pyogenic bacteria streptococcus pyogenes and uh, it can also cause disseminated disseminated mean it can spread into the bloodstream causing sepsis sepsis mean multiple organs will be involved by the infection caused by the organism and uh, additionally you can see here cellulitis the first picture shows the impitigo second shows cellulitis and additionally it can also cause local throat infection now the second mechanism of pathogenesis of streptococcus pyogen is toxigenic toxigenic means the ability to produce the exotoxin exotoxin are harmful chemicals and then the they can cause also the disease one is the scarlet fever scarlet fever is typically confined to the skin and uh, second is toxic shock toxic shock is a shock like condition and it will involve the multiple organs remember toxic shock syndrome toxin we also discussed in the staphylococcal species then finally we have immune mediated post streptococcal reaction so the final 
mechanism of pathogenesis of streptococcus pyogenes immune mediated post streptococcal so streptococcal infection will occur in response to that immune system will be activated immune system can form antibodies which may be targeted against your own tissues for example hearts and joints this is the rheumatic fever additionally if kidney is targeted by the antibodies produced against the organism then it is glomerulonephritis okay so the site of immune mediated reaction if it is the hearts joints it is rheumatic fever if it's the kidney it can cause glomerulonephritis so these are the ways by which streptococcus pyogenes causes infection then we have another category which is streptococcus agalactica this is group b beta hemolytic streptococcal species now the normal site of colonization of streptococcus agalactica is vagina in females and it causes two diseases one is the neonatal sepsis and second is neonatal meningitis neonatal mean in newborn it can cause sepsis infection which can spread into the blood stream and affect multiple organ and secondly it can cause meningitis in the newborn the second is is streptococcus pneumonia streptococcus pneumonia normally colonizes the oropharynx and uh, it colonizes the oropharynx colonization mean it can live there but when it get, gets the opportunity like in case of uh, weak immune system or infection it will then invade okay so streptococcus pneumonia can then invade the lungs causing streptococcus pneumonia it can cause otitis media in the air infection and it can cause also meningitis affecting the brain brain layers and uh, and remember streptococcus by uh, uh, streptococcus pneumonia basically causes meningitis in adults whereas streptococcus agalactica is causing meningitis in the newborn typically 0 to 6 months around you have streptococcus agalactica is a more common cause where whereas finally we have uh, two other species one is streptococcus viridans streptococcus viridans is normally present in the oropharynx streptococcus viridans can cause endocarditis Yes, it can affect the heart walls, inner layer of the heart, which is endocardium. This is endocarditis. And then we have the final species, which is Entrococcus fecalis and bovis. Both are closely related because both resides in the colon. Both of them can cause endocarditis. Additionally, Entrococcus fecalis can also cause urinary tract infection. So that's the whole summary of all the organisms of streptococcal species.